DPP. Adlai Smith has filed charges against nine defaulters under the Integrity and Public Life Act, taken under the Integrity and Public Life Act, Cap 22.18, as amended. Two public officials have been omitted and one extension granted, per the list published. DPP Smith's enforcement action is a follow-up to an initial press release issued on January 11, 2024, on public officials who failed to meet the filing deadline of the 26th of January 2024. In a press release dated February 1, 2024, DPP Smith advised, As the DPP, I am tasked with upholding the rule of law and ensuring the highest standards of integrity among public officials, adding, As of today, the deadline for compliance with the mandatory declaration requirements has passed. It is with regret that we note several public officials have failed to meet this obligation. Omitted and extension from the list. In accordance with earlier warnings, complaints were filed on January 31, 2023, against public officials who failed to comply. The names of two public officials have been omitted from the list below pending a legal opinion regarding the effect of their resignations on their obligations to file. Another has requested and been granted an extension until the 5th of February on compassionate grounds owing to the death and recent burial of his mother, DPP Smith explained. All the public officials listed in the table below have failed to meet the filing deadline of the 26th of January 2024. This list represents a diverse range of positions and organisations, underscoring the universal applicability of the law to all applicable public officials. While I have been made aware that at least one public official has filed since the deadline, that name has still been listed because the deadline of the 26th of January 2024 was the final deadline. Summonses are presently being prepared by the court registry and will be served in due course, the DPP press release announced. Combating corruption and maintaining public trust. I wish to reiterate the importance of these declarations in combating corruption and maintaining public trust. Were I to fail to follow through on my warning of certain prosecution, not only would the credibility of my office be damaged, but it would also set a harmful precedent that laws can be disregarded without consequence. These charges will carry the full weight of the Integrity in Public Life Act with potential fines of up to $30,000 or imprisonment for up to three years. This should serve as a stark reminder of the seriousness with which the federal government viewed non-compliance with this law. According to DPP Smith's press release, while it was not my desire that any should perish by way of prosecution, the DPP office is compelled to enforce the law to preserve the integrity of our public institutions. I can report to the public that while as last year... November 2023, compliance was in the region of 14 to 18 percent. As of today, the compliance of public officials has achieved, at the very least, a very commendable 90 percent. Since the last press release, the Integrity Commission Office has been inundated with calls, emails, and walk ins about the filing process and have assisted those individuals accordingly. Our office, and indeed the Federation, are indebted to the Commission in this regard. Comply or face the consequences. St Christopher and Nevis Office of the DPP said it remains steadfast in its resolve to prosecute any violations of the Integrity and Public Life Act. The message remains clear. Comply with your legal obligations or face the consequences. We take this opportunity to remind public officials of the next filing deadline of April 30th, 2024. Applicable public officials are strongly urged to make the necessary preparations to ensure that this legal obligation is honoured by the statutory deadline. The Integrity Commission Office remains available to answer any queries in relation to the process. Abundance of caution. The DPP Office extends its commendation to all the other public officers who, while not required to file under the legislation, opted to file out of an abundance of caution. In the meantime, we await a list of defaulters from the Nevis Integrity Commission in contravention of the applicable Nevis Ordinance coming out of discussions I had with them last December. In the interest of compliance with the Integrity and Public Life Ordinance and to avoid prosecution, Nevis public officials are strongly urged to submit their declarations without delay, DPP Smith advised.
Thank you for joining us on KN Whoop. I am Alvarine Cable, affectionately known as Bright Eyes. Have a wonderful day.